Mathematics. What is it for? Mathematics can help us to understand the world around us. To make sense of our place in history. To make decisions. To interpret, quantify and communicate. To see another layer of beauty in nature. Sadly, many people don't think of maths in this way. They think of it as an enormous collection of facts and processes that must be learnt and remembered. But it seems too hard to remember them all, because those processes were created by other people. Other people who must be much smarter than me. Knowing and using facts and processes is an important part of being able to work mathematically. But it is not the whole picture. So what is maths education really for? Maths education must play its part in creating generations of problem solvers. People who look for patterns and connections in their lives. People who can develop logical thoughts and actions. People who create new solutions to old problems. So how is this communicated in the Australian Curriculum for Mathematics? When we look at the Australian Curriculum for Mathematics, we see three content strands and four proficiencies. The proficiencies describe how the students should engage with the content. Through engaging in all four proficiencies, fluency, understanding, problem solving and reasoning, we empower our students with skills more valuable than computation alone. So, with this in mind, let's think about a student in a South Australian school. Let's call her Millie. How might Millie's teacher interweave the content and the proficiencies? When designing learning about capacity and volume, Millie's teacher could begin with a problem. If Millie puts her hand into this jug of water, the water level rises. What could that tell us about Millie's hand? Millie's teacher can support her to test her ideas and be resilient in the face of unfamiliar problems. Millie's teacher can help her to develop reasoning skills, to prove and communicate her thinking. Millie's teacher will have provided her with the opportunity to develop understanding by making the connection between millilitres and centimetre cubes for herself. When Millie has created her new understanding, she can practise her fluency by changing between different units of measurement. By experiencing the interweaving of content and proficiencies in this way, Millie is experiencing what it is to think mathematically rather than what it is to do maths. Music